So, welcome everybody. My name is Sarhan Nejah. I'm the Deputy Director of the DRD Regional Office Tunis and I'm very happy to spend the next 60 minutes with you with our today's topic. Um, we have seen that there's a very big interest in doing a master's in Germany, very big number of persons who have uh, uh, done an inscription in our seminar. We are very, very happy about it. And we hope that uh, we will be able to answer uh, all your questions and to give you all the information you're looking for uh, when you'll do a master in Germany. Maybe you have seen that we have put here a polling with uh, three questions. Um, I invite you to take part in this polling to answer the three questions. This is important for us to know who is behind the scenes, who is uh, interested in uh, talking with us, and, um, and it, it could be a little bit uh, more easy or easier for me. So, maybe um, the contents of today and the topic of today, how to do a master's degree, um, which, kind, uh, which, which kinds or types of master's degree are, exist in Germany. Um, and um, we will also give you some information about the scholarship programs we offer um, for the master level. So this will be the content of today. Uh, at the end of my presentation, you will have the opportunity um, to ask questions or you can ask your questions during the whole presentation. So we have a chat that uh, will rest open during my whole presentation. You can also write your questions down after the presentation. It's up to you. And I will try to answer as much questions as possible. It depends on the time, but hopefully that I will be able to answer all your question. You can write your questions uh, in German, in English, or also in French. Um, we have also prepared for you some documents uh, that could be downloaded at the end of the presentation. Uh, we have uh, some brochures, so it will be a bit, little bit difficult to send them to you after the, 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 uh, the, the seminar, so it's really better that you download them at the end of this presentation. Um, our online seminar is recorded now and will be available in a couple of days on our uh, YouTube channel. We'll write you down in the chat the link of our YouTube channel where you can also find some other um, online seminars with uh, different other topics, always uh, with the focus on um, study and research in Germany. So I invite you to take part in the polling once again. I can see that there are some of you who have um, taken part in, but um, I invite you to do, uh, to, to do it if you still haven't done it. So uh, we have only three questions. It's really only three clicks, very, very easy. So, they just look on the results. Okay, it's interesting. I can see the majority of you are engineers or working or studying in the field of engineers. It's also interesting for us to see that you already know us and that the majority of you are bachelor uh, students or students in uh, the level of the licence, what we call here. Okay, so um i will now begin with my presentation and um, you can see here the content that we will see and uh, we will begin first of all with some facts about germany so we have a slogan made by the german ministry of federal um the the, the german or federal ministry of higher education and scientific research, um, Germany, land of ideas. And we, as the DAD, say that it's well justified to say that Germany is the land of ideas. And we have put you here some German brands, well known, and also some German uh, inventions, um, also well known inventions that we use in our daily life, inventions 
um, that, we, that that are very important in our day li daily life, like the car, for example, um, the airbag, the toothpaste, things we use um, every day and things that have been um, created and invented through German um, researchers. Um, regarding the brands, or the, uh, you can see here, there's just a couple of um, examples that we have put here. Um, so I think that when you hear Mercedes, um, BMW or Volkswagen, you know that there's quality behind. Uh, the same thing for the pharmaceutical sector, for the IT sector, for the sportive sector, just some examples. So Germany, land of ideas. Some information about um, um, the geography of Germany. Germany is located in the heart of Europe with nine, nine neighbor countries. So it's an ideal destination to get to know Europe when you live in Germany because you can really easily travel between the different countries, between the different neighbor countries. We have 83 million citizens and among them more than 10 million foreign citizens, international citizens coming from all over the world. So uh, we can say that Germany is meanwhile a um, multicultural um, country. Um, regarding the climate, it's, um, it's a very um, um, comfortable climate, I think, because we have, um, we have it's, it's really, it's, it's cold in the winter. It's colder than, uh, than, than in Tunisia or in, in Morocco or in Algeria. But uh, in the summer, you can also have uh, really very nice um, days and it, 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 it's very similar. It could be sometimes similar to the Mediterranean climate. Some information about international students in Germany. This is an aspect uh, which is very important for us as the DAD. We have um, almost 3 million students enrolled at German universities and among them, uh, more than 40% international students coming from all over the world. Most of them come from China, from India and also from Syria. But we have also interesting numbers regarding um, Moroccan and Tunisian students. So more than 7,400 7, Moroccan students and more than 6,700 Tunisian students. And um, uh, the, the, the numbers are increasing more and more in, uh, during the last years. The DAD, the organization I represent, um, DAD is short for Deutscher Akademischer Austauschdienst, German Academic Exchange Service. We are an uh, uh, independent organization with uh, members from the universities in Germany, from research centers and also from uh, student bodies. And um, our headquarters is located in Bonn. Bonn is the former capital of Germany. And you can see on this nice picture, one of our buildings in the headquarters in Bonn. We have also another uh, branch office in, in Berlin, the capital of Germany and lots of other structures uh, all over the world in more than 60 countries. So we have foreign based uh, branch offices, we have information centers, and we also have uh, smaller structures like information points. Our office in the Maghreb, our regional office in the Maghreb is located in Tunis, in the heart of the capital on the Avenue Habib Bourguiba. We, uh, our office has been created in 2012, directly after the revolution in Tunisia. And we are meanwhile a regional office, not only responsible for Tunisia, but also for Algeria, Morocco and Libya. Besides our office, we also have lectures um, that uh, they, they, they um, teach German language at Maghrebinian universities and they also represent the DAD. They give information about study and research in Germany, they give information about um, uh, scholarship opportunities and uh, they, they also could uh, give advice um, uh, regarding, for example, cooperation programs. So we, uh, our, um, our uh, activities are very diverse, so our main focus 
is always study and research in Germany. We um, give information through uh, information sessions, through information um, uh, events uh, that uh, that happen, for example, at uh, Magyurbanian universities. We offer uh, online seminars like our today's online seminar. So we do it online and we do it also offline. We give consultings for those who are interested in uh, cooperation programs. We offer scholarship programs. We did we do different um, events like um, networking events, event events for our former scholarship holders, the alumni. We um, take part in some uh, some fairs. Uh, we offer trainings. We we do other events that are always related to. Um, to the academic world. So, um, so very different um, activities that are offered here in the region. Some information now about the German university system. We have different types of uh, universities in Germany and um, maybe I need to go back. Uh, we have what we call universities, technical universities, universities of applied sciences. There are some special schools for arts, music and film. And we also have some private institutions. Um, maybe um, you need to, 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 to check the, the, the difference between um, universities and universities of applied sciences. Universities are more uh, uh, oriented through the research and universities of applied sciences are a little bit more oriented on everything that is um, uh, applied uh, where we have a close link to the um, to the industry where we offer um, different um, uh, um, inter internships uh, through the through the uh, study programs so um, the um, the diplomas are the same, but the um, but the the, the um, um, but the teaching methods are a little bit difficult. So if you want to um, if you want to study in Germany, you need to have first of all um, a baccalaureate school living certificate. This is the condition to get an, um, an admission to a German university. If you are from Tunisia, you get a direct recognition of your baccalaureate of the school leaving certificate. If you are from Algeria, Libya or Morocco, you need to, de to do one year plus to get the, um, the, the uh, admission for a German university. So this is the first uh, um, condition. The second condition is that you have also um, um, uh, the, the language certificate that is needed, it could be in English or in Germany. And then you are able to, um, to do a, ma a bachelor degree, so this is what we know here in the region for, uh, as a licence, a uh, bachelor degree that yours between three or four years, it depends on the credit points that you will get at the end. And you can choose here between a university and a university of applied sciences. If you are interested to do later a master, and we'll focus later on this, um, then it's, you have the same um, situation. You need to choose between a university and a university of applied sciences. You will choose a master, a one-year master program or a two-year master program. So it uh, depends on the credit points. And then you will get your diploma. And uh, last but not least, there's a possibility to do a PhD. And in this case, you need to do it normally at a university or a technical university. There are some exceptions, but this is normally the situation we have. In some fields, you do not do the bachelor and the master degree, but what we call here a state examination. It's the case, for example, in uh, medicine, law, uh, pharmacy and so on. So we have different master's degrees in Germany. There are the so-called consecutive and the non-consecutive master um, programs that exist in Germany. The big majority of the programs that are offered at German universities are consecutive master programs. It means that you have to have obligatory 
a bachelor degree, first of all, a bachelor degree in a certain field. So it's not possible, for example, to do a bachelor degree, a bachelor's degree, for example, in economics and continue then the master's degree in, let's say, engineering with no relation. So there, there should be a relation between what you have done during the first cycle and what you will do during the second cycle this would, would, that is the master. Um, we have different um, uh, different types of master's degree for different fields. It depends on the uh, on the field you will you will choose. So we have what we call the master of arts uh, for those who will study arts, master of science, master of law, master of engineering, master of education, master of fine arts, master of music. So these different kinds of masters are available at universities and also at um, at uh, universities of applied sciences. So this is the case for the consecutive master's programs. Then let's have a closer look on the non-consecutive master programs. This is, for example, the so-called MBA. Maybe you have heard about it. So in this case, it's not obligatory to have a certain bachelor's degree. Um, you could uh, so you could have a bachelor's degree, but it should not be in a special field. It could be another uh, field. You could have done other things and decide then to do a special um, uh, MBA, a special non-consecutive master. It could even be replaced through some years of ex uh, professional experience. So you need to check on the website of the university where you will choose the MBA. What is um, uh, what is needed? What is the condition to um, to get a, uh, to to get an admission for the uh, for the non-consecutive master program you have chosen? So you need to 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 check the conditions and the requirements and apply them. But you need to know that the big majority of the German masters uh, programs are the consecutive master programs. The credit points you will get uh, at um, for, for, the, for the master's programs are different. It depends on, uh, on the duration of the master's program. Normally you get for each year 60 credit points. And that's why when we have a two years master's programs, you will get at the end 120 uh, credit points. Studying in Germany. The requirements, we have already talked a little bit about it. Um, you need to have uh, what we call in German uh, a Hochschulzugangsberechtigung, very long, typical German world, world uh, which means uh, normally um, the school leaving certificate or what we know here as the baccalauréat. So this is the condition. The baccalauréat could not be replaced uh, through what we do, uh, what we, what you do sometimes here in Tunisia, for example, or also in Algeria and Morocco, um, the uh, BTP and BT, BTS and I don't know, this could not be replaced, but um, uh, you need to have this baccalaureate. Then we need to check from which country are you. If you are from Tunisia, you have a direct um, um, uh, university entrance qualification. Um, so it's directly uh, gives you the admission to study um, at a German university when you have the, the language requirements. And if you are from Morocco, Algeria or Libya, you need to do one year plus. This year could be done in your home country. And if you will do, for example, in your home country, if you are, for example, from uh, Algeria and you have already, you, you got your baccalaureate and uh, you want to study in Germany, then you can uh, do one year plus at your, uh, in Morocco. For example, you will study um, mathematics in Morocco first year. You need then, if you want to continue then your studies in Germany, you need to continue and to study in Germany mathematics and not another, um, an, you, can, you cannot change the field. Um, this is the condition for all countries. There's also a possibility to go directly to a so-called Studienkolleg after the baccalaureate, if you are from Morocco or from Algeria, and do one year at a German university where you will get some German courses and where you will also get uh, some um, 
other um, subjects like uh, basic subjects like mathematics, physics, it depends on the field you will do at the end. La German language skills uh, is needed when you will study in Germany. And the big majority, let's say 90% of the German study programs are offered in German. And in this case, you need a certification. This could be the so-called TESTAF. TESTAF could be done in Germany, but also almost all over the world. Um, uh, you can do a DSH. This is a certification that is only done at German universities. You can do it at a Goethe Institute. You can uh, also do the USD, the, the uh, Austrian um, certification or the TELC C1. These are normally uh, the certifications that are required and uh, that could be accepted by German universities. If you say, no, I prefer to study in English. I'm very good in English. I also already have a certification. Um, then you will find uh, also a very interesting number of uh, study programs that are offered at German universities. There are 2,200 programs at the moment. And among them, um, there are at the moment almost 1,500 study programs in the master level. And you need, of course, to check if there are programs that, um, that, that fits to your profile, that fit, uh, fit to your profile and uh, that you find interesting for you. And uh, you can check uh, the programs on the link you can see here, the DDE International Minus Program. We'll write you the link down in the chat and um, you can then um, check the, the, the database. It's a database with international um, study programs that are um, the majority in English normally. How to apply? If you have identified the university type you prefer, um, the study program, you have decided in which language you want to study, you have already this, the, 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 um, the certification, the language certification that is needed, you need to apply. And there are for international students um, two ways to apply. Either you apply directly through the university or you apply via what we what you call UniAssist. UniAssist is um, an organization that uh, offers services to German universities. And there is almost 50% um, of German universities are members of UniAssist. And if a German university is a member, you as an international student, you need to apply through UniAssist. UniAssist will then do a formal check. They will check whether you are eligible for this program or not. And if you will be eligible, they will, um, they will uh, transfer your, your application to the concerned universities. And if you are not eligible, you will get a rejection. So UniAssist really only does a formal check. And you need to pay for this service. At the moment, it costs uh, 70 euros for your application. And, um, and, and you need to check through the website. We have already written the link down in the chat. Uh, you check through the website whether the university you have chosen is a member of UniAssist or not. Um, so these are the two ways to do an application uh, for a study program at a German university. Now, the, most, the very important questions, especially for the parents, um, does it cost something when I study or my son or my daughter studies at a German university? I feel very good news for you. Um, we can say that as a rule, there are no tuition fees for neither for German students nor for international uh, students. There's, there are two small exceptions. Maybe you know that Germany is a federative state. It means that we are divided or Germany is divided in 16 states. And among these 16 states, there's one state in the southwest of Germany, Baden-Württemberg, where there are tuition fees. You need to pay 1,500 euros per semester. 
And um, there's also um, there are also study fees for several study programs from the TUM, the TU München. For all other universities uh, in Germany, for the in, in the in, in all other states, there are no tuition fees. Um, you you can study there for free. There's always a semester contribution that you need to pay every semester. It, the, the amount uh, depends on the universities. There is uh, there are universities where you need to pay only 100 euros. Other uh, universities where you need to pay up to 300 euros per semester. These are administrative costs. With these costs, you will get um, the status of a uh, student, of an international student at a German universities. You get uh, lots of benefits. It means that, for example, you can um, you can use the canteen, the university restaurants, you can um, use the library, you can do some sports for free, you can take part in some cultural events with reduced prices and even um, uh, the semester ticket, um, the, the ticket for, for, the, um, for the mobility um, is um, partly covered through the semester contribution. So these were the information regarding the fees. Now the question, do you offer scholarships? There are, are there scholarships for me? Um, maybe you know that the, the DAD is one of the biggest um, scholarship organizations worldwide and we have different scholarships for different fields and different, um, different levels and we will have today a closer look on the scholarship programs that we offer uh, in the master level. Maybe you need to know uh, two information. If you are, uh, if you want to study a um, first cycle in Germany, uh, it means doing a, a bachelor's degree at a German universities, you will really find less scholarships uh, or no scholarships, no complete scholarships. So the DAD doesn't offer uh, scholarships for the first cycle. There are also some other German organization that, uh, organizations that offer scholarships. But uh, it would be difficult to find an, uh, a good program for the, for the first cycle. The scholarship programs begins normally from the, from the second cycle, second cycle, third cycle and the research. And you can find here our, you can see here our um, scholarship database and we will write you the link in the chat down, funding-guide.de. Uh, you find there our scholarship programs, but also scholarship programs that are offered through other German organizations, like, for example, um, political foundations, uh, like uh, federative states, um, associations. There are lots of other organizations that offer, offer scholarships, and you find them all on this link. Today, we are not able to have a closer look on all um, study programs that we offer, but we will have the focus on the scholarship programs that are offered uh, in the master level. Let's begin with a small program, which is not um, which is not a whole master program, but it's a, it's a program for those who are studying in the second cycle. Uh, the, the famous program COSPI, it's an, uh, a program for Tunisian, only Tunisian engineers or um, students uh, who are uh, enrolled in an engineering program. You need to be in the second year at a state or state recognized university in Tunisia and then can apply for a short stay uh, with a duration of six months at a German university. Um, the earliest say so you will apply normally this year if you are if you are interested uh, you will apply this year with the deadline 13th of April 2024 uh, in order to begin in February 25. That's why it's important that you need to be now in the second year that you will be in February 2025 in the third year the last year. Uh, the, the year or the period where, where you need to do your PFÖ uh, in, in Germany or, or, uh, or another country. 
Next uh, program I would like to um, to present is a program that is um, uh, that, that deals with the green hydrogen. Um, this is a program that is only open for Tunisia and Morocco, and we can you can we can fund here a whole master's degree. We can fund um, an, an internship in the framework of your master's degree or also only a short stay um, in order to do your thesis, your final thesis of the master's degree. You need to deal um, in the field of um, green hydrogen. This is the condition. You don't need to be um, directly related to, uh, to, to green hydrogen, but you can um, in, in your working field, the green hydrogen should be obligatory implied. This is the condition. And um, so the, the, the duration of the funding is different. It depends on what you will do. If you will apply for a whole master's, then uh, you, you can get a funding um, uh, of maximum two years. If you just want to do an internship, or uh, you want to do your master thesis, it could be a stay between two and six months. Application deadline is open, will be open from tomorrow, normally, if, I, if, if, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, with the deadline of April 10th. So during the next two months, you can apply, but you need and to identify um, a university or an, um, an enterprise where you will do um, where you'll do, uh, where you'll pass your stay there. Next master's program that we offer is a master's program in uh, the field of architecture and arts. You can choose a German spoken program or an English spoken program at a German university and you need to have um, finished your first degree in your home country with excellent grades. We are looking for the best students. And, um, and then you can apply um, for this program. You need to get the acceptance from the German university. It means that you need to fulfill all the conditions that are uh, offered through the German university. So it means if it's a German program and they have the condition that you have, um, that you need to have a uh, language certificate let's say test staff 444, then you need to have it. This, is, this will be then the condition that the DID could give you a scholarship uh, and so on. So you don't need to have um, the admission directly during the funding period, um, the, the application period, but, uh, but there is the condition that you need to fulfill all the documents and to, that you have all the documents at a certain period before the funding starts. We have different deadlines here um, for the architecture. It will be um, in the next uh, autumn, September 13th. Um, and for the program in arts that are music normally, um, music, um, performing arts and um, music, performing arts and design and film uh, will be then uh, also in September or in November. Um, so it depends on the on the field you will you will choose and um, the the details uh, for this program also for all others are on our scholarship database funding minus guide point de. We have another very nice program, the so-called Helmut Schmidt pro program. Um, it's a master scholarship program. Uh, for the field of public policy and good governance. We have uh, seven different study programs at seven different universities. We have six, um, we have six English programs that are taught completely in English and one program which is a mixture between uh, German and English. Um, the programs that are offered at the universities here are uh, in different fields. Um, but the focus is always public policy and good governance. Um, we are looking here for excellent students who have already gained their first university degrees, university degree, and who have, an, have the ambition to contribute 
um, to the establishment of democratically oriented economic and social system. We are looking here for future leaders in politics, law, economics, and administration. Um, we have two year master programs and one year master's programs. Um, it depends on the credit points they will give at the end. And the application deadline is every year between June and July. So normally I hope that we will get um, the new call of this program by the end of May 2024. We have another program, also a very nice program, that is um, designed for another um, target group normally. This is a program that is designed for um, young professionals, those who have already finished their first degree, who have already gained some working experience, at least two years, can apply for one of our programs in the framework of EPOS. EPOS uh, is um, a program are scholarship programs in different field and, uh, fields where different German universities take part in. And we have for about different, 40 different programs. Um, it could be, for example, in a program in public health, it could be a program in regional planning, it could be a program in management, in sustainability. And we have really lots of uh, interesting programs. You need to check through our booklet that you can find on our scholarship database, funding-guide.de. Um, you find the detailed description, you find the booklet with the 40 different programs and the detailed descriptions, the requirements, um, and so on. You find them all on our scholarship database. You need to check, first of all, if you fulfill the, these conditions. Have you already uh, finished your first degree with excellent grades? Have you already gained working experience? In this case, internships are not uh, sufficient. And if yes, you check whether there is a program that fits to your profile, um, that is close to you and where you can imagine to, to do a two-year master's program at a German university. We have different deadlines here. Every program has its own deadline. You need to check w which deadline we have for this year. If you have if you have missed, for example, um, the, the deadline, then you need to apply for the next year. If you are not lucky to get a scholarship, then you are allowed to work legally at a German university once you have the legal and official status of, a, of a, an international student. Um, very um, numerous students in Germany are working. They have a small, uh, small uh, part-time job where they, uh, they are, where they can work and, and get a maximum of, of, I've forgotten, 450 or 500 now? 520. They have uh, raised the number. That's why I've forgotten it. 520 euros now you, you, you can earn without paying taxes and um, you can help your parents, you can gain some experience, um, you have some social context. I think there are lots of um, reasons, good reasons to, 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 to have a small part-time job as an international student. You can work during 120 full days or 240 half days. It means uh, that um, you can work during the weekends, you can work during the um, um, during the weekends or during the vacancies, for example. If you finish your, if you say, so I will do a master's degree and you have finished, uh, in this uh, case, you are allowed to rest in Germany in order to look for a job. So you can rest uh, a period of uh, maximum, for, for a maximum of 18 months after graduating to look for um, for, for a job in your field. And so this is a very comfortable situation. I think that you can have a closer look about the job market situation. And if you want to rest in Germany or if you, if you prefer to go um, to another country. So it's up to you. And, um, but I think uh, to, to get this information and to have this in mind, it, 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 it can put you in a very comfortable situation. 
Let's finish with some further information and useful links. You have here some useful links that we have uh, already um, that we have already talked about uh, about them. And um, uh, you can screenshot um, the links if you are if you want to 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 um, let them by yourself. Save the date before I have a closer look on your questions. And I already see that there are lots of questions. Hopefully that we will have the time to answer all of them. But just two words about um, the save the date we have put here. So we offer twice a week a consulting via phone. If you have just a small question, you just want to call us very rapidly and, and uh, give us um, and, uh, and, uh, and ask something, you can call us every, um, every Wednesday and every, and, and every Friday, Wednesday uh, from um, 2 to 4, 2 to 4, I think, and Friday from, to, from 10 to 12, you can call us. We also have a face-to-face -face, um, face -face consulting and um, we offer it every Thursday. You can find our um, system where you can fix an appointment on our website. Um, it's on www.dad.tn. And you find the direct link also in the chat. My colleague uh, has already put it in the chat box. Um, there are still some appointments available for this Thursday. And uh, if you want to come directly to us, you, um, you, you, you need to, to, to use this link. So you are not allowed to come without um, fixing an appointment before. We offer on a regular basis an online seminar with German universities. Um, uh, this time we will offer an online seminar with three German universities. And um, it will be next uh, next February, no, uh, next next week, yes. Next week we'll offer it 20th of February um, with the Technical University of Braunschweig, with the University of Applied Sciences of Hof and Technical University of Applied Sciences of Ulm. And if you are interested to take part in, to interact with them directly, then you can um, register on our website. Uh, maybe we'll give you the direct link uh, to register on this online, the direct link of the online seminar that we'll offer with um, German universities. Just scroll down on the French. Yes, on the main, main site. Yeah, so we will we will give you here, uh, we will give you immediately the direct link. Um, uh, we will give you immediately uh, the direct link where you'll get further information about the three universities. Yeah, you can take this link. Yeah, um, with, uh, and also the, the link where you, will, uh, where you can um, register. And last but not least, uh, 24th of February, it means not this Saturday, but next Saturday we'll have an education, we'll take part in an education far, fair in um, Hotel Laiko. So, so I can see now that there are still lots of uh, more questions, but unfortunately we are not able to answer them because uh, of the time. Um, I will give you here now, once again, first of all, the save the date. You can see here, just to remember our different, um, our different um, um, offers we can give you. So um, maybe we will have, uh, so next week we will have uh, the online seminar with the German universities, but uh, we'll uh, offer um, by the 5th of March, we'll offer the next online seminar, which are small seminars with only um, some participants where you can ask more questions if you are interested in, but you need to wait a little bit. Otherwise, there's always the possibility to send an email 
Um, we have info at DID.TN, our email address where we answer all your questions and give you all the information you're looking for. Or as I've said, you can just call us. So I'm really sorry. I see that there are still lots of more questions, but unfortunately no time to answer all of them. I hope uh, that it was um, beneficial for you and you get although some information and some answers about your about this topic and uh, I will be happy to, to, to read your questions in the email or when you will call us. Thank you once again for your interaction, for uh, your interest and all your questions. Um, don't forget to download the brochures we have um, we have prepared for you um, one one sheet with useful links and one brochure, a pocket, pocket guide for international students with different um, with different um, information about study and, and, and live in Germany. And um, that's it normally from my side. Thank you once again and have a nice day. Bye bye.